If you check out the night sky over the next few nights, you may just see a little light show out there. A little bit. Reminds yeah. me kind of of the planetarium growing up. The Orionid <laughs> meteor shower is visible until Saturday. And Grant, this is a good time to get outside and enjoy it. You said this morning, one of our photographers. Yeah, a couple of, couple of uh, sightings already this morning. Uh, we have the Geminid meteor shower in December, the Perseids are in August, and the Orionids in October. So those are three of the typically best ones that we see throughout the year. But if you've got a minute, I'll show you the best chances of seeing uh, this one, the Orionid meteor shower. So you're probably familiar with the constellation Orion, right? Orion's belt right there. So that typically begins to rise in our sky uh, right after midnight in the southeastern sky. And it's, it's generally in the southern sky right now, but it's called the Orionids because the the origin point for or how these meteors appear like they're originating from is near Orion in the sky. So if you look toward the constellation Orion, you may be able to have a better chance of seeing these shooting stars. So the best place is going to be obviously away from um, from the city lights there. Get out to an expansive view of the sky. The next couple of mornings is the peak, but you still may be able to see some over the next several nights going into the weekend. If you've got a good space to see the shooting stars, you could see up to 10 meteors an hour. Now we do have some fog in the area this morning. Visibility is not going to be great, though. One of our photographers did see a shooting star this morning already. Tomorrow morning, you may be able to see it again. Skies will start clearing out after midnight. Have a look. You could see a couple of shooting stars.